Hey guys, so I'm here with a Dragons B10 face team. This is meant to be a starter Dragons B10 team too. So I actually have my baby account here today. And so there are no towers uh, upgraded at all. I haven't upgraded any of the towers on this account. Uh, I don't play it on very often, but I'm trying to progress through it to get to some of these videos where I'm actually in the standpoint of, hey, here's the first team. So, so like I said, a beginner's Dragons B10 team here. Uh, it is Verdless. So all of you who haven't pulled Verd, like myself on this account, uh, fear not because there are other options. Uh, I didn't do a tower team because in my mind, I'll probably be six starring or you know that would require a Bryant or something else that I just don't have. Uh, so this is uh, exactly my Dragons B10 team. So the Verd replacement I have in here is Bernard. Uh, he can be, it, it, it's tougher without Verd, of course, and your uh, stat requirements are a little bit higher. Uh, so you'll have to be in uh, Giants for a little bit longer if you don't have Verd. Uh, but, but there is a way to go about it. So uh, I have Vero, Bella, Bernard, uh, Megan, and I have Gildong in here, but I want to call him Water Damage Dealer uh, because that's, that's a nice, nice use of that slot. And I'll get into some of the other common monsters that can be used instead of that one. Uh, but uh, basically, I would recommend Sig. I did not want to fuse Sig. I had Gildong. Uh, so I just, I made him work, basically. Um, and one thing that's really neat about this, this, this team here is that this is my Giants B10 team. Um, so, like, I, I use Shannon in my Giants B10 team instead of Megan, but I think now I can throw Megan in there, and, uh, you know, this team will work perfectly. And these are actually the only five six stars in this account. So I have five six stars, and I can run both uh, Giants and Dragons. And uh, in, in my mind, that's the progressional standpoint you should take. Uh, the sort of stance is I'm not really going to six-star anything until I'm done with my Dragons team. Uh, this Dragons team is probably about, I don't know, two-thirds to three-quarters percent successful. It still needs some work, but that's mainly just stats, stat improvements it needs. If I had any towers upgraded, like my speed tower, that would help out a ton. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you a run of this, of this team and how it overall works. Keep in mind, uh, Sig, Sig can be a replacement for Gildong. Theo, if you're lucky enough to pull him, can be a replacement. I don't know about the Water Magic Knight. I have my doubts, uh, but if you have it six-starred, it might work. I'm not sure. And then after the run, I'll show you guys the stats and runes of all the monsters. All right, enjoy.
Okay, so back here with my team. Uh, so you guys saw the run, it worked out pretty well. Uh, the only places it fails really are one, if during the, uh, uh, at any point during the run, but mostly during the Xyros portion, stage three, if somebody dies, really doesn't matter who, but if somebody dies, then my run's going to fail. Uh, and then also if Bernard dies early in the Dragon's run, uh, he needs to be a little bit more tanky right now. I've actually made him a bit more tanky since I, cr I made that clip, but, uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, he needs to be a bit more tanky, but really that's about it. Uh, and then also my accuracy uh, needs to be increased on some of my monsters too, because sometimes I just can't strip the immunity. So, and that that's on me. I need to, I need to increase those stats. But anyway, starting off with uh, Veramos runes. So overall, uh, he can be swift or violent, uh, but mine's on swift. So I'll pull his stats up here. And uh, so, you know, just take a quick look at his runes. Uh, my goal here is speed. Uh, I do have a blue rune here that needs upgraded. Uh, this is only a four star crappy rune, but it's what I have. And then this one over here is pretty nice. So I'm, I'm happy with that one. But overall, his accuracy, 30%, needs to be higher since he's one of my main damage dealers. But uh, Swift, Speed, HP, HP, or HP Defense, you want him close to 20,000 HP as possible. So with his uh, leader skill, uh, you know, he'll have about you know, 12,000 plus 8,000, just a little bit, of, he'll, he'll crack that 20,000 mark. And that's really what I'm going for here. And a nice defense boost, since he does actually have a great base defense stat, whereas his base HP is not too high, uh, defense runes are, work pretty well with him. Uh, but like I said, I want him as fast as possible on either swift or violent. Uh, with violent, you can't go under 170 speed, uh, 180 without verd, I would say. And then, like I said, 45% accuracy because that's what it takes to consistently land debuffs on the dragon. Um, it mine's a bit low, that's, and that's a big reason why I'm running into some failures. Uh, Bella, pretty much the same thing as, as Veramos. So uh, swift or violent, speed, HP, defense, or speed, HP, HP. As you can see, she has a really nice base defense stat too. So defense percent runes do work on her. Mine is a bit slow. Again, another reason why I start running into uh, failures is because I'm not meeting these uh, speed and accuracy thresholds. 40% uh, accuracy, we're getting close, but I need to get 45%. So take a look at her runes. Um, okay, so slot one, and then, yep, a blue rune. I need to, need to level that one up. So anyway, I have mine on violent. I basically got a lot of these from shop, the shop runes. Uh, I don't think any of these are particularly that good. Uh, they're just, they're violent with some speed. This one, I'll probably reapp at some point, but violent with some speed, a little bit of speed, but I'm getting most of the speed from her slot uh, two anyway. Yeah, 42 out of 56 speeds coming from just from the slot two. Uh, so, Basically the same build as Veramos, keep that in mind. Thresholds here, 20,000 HP, 45% accuracy, and at least 170 to 180 speed on Violent, and I would say 200 plus on Swift. Uh, if you can't get these, do, just, just stay in Giants for a while. That, that works just fine. Okay, Megan, my next, my next monster here. Uh, for any water-based monster going into Dragon's B10, I would say at least 15,000 HP. The more, the, the better, of course, but uh, at least 15,000 HP. Again, you can see my accuracy is only 11%. Another reason why I personally run into failures. If she had 45% accuracy, uh, I'd probably be fine. I could probably give up some of her health for accuracy though. So speed, um, again, speed, HP, HP is her defense. Her defense is actually a bit low. Her, her health is kind of low too, but um, speed HP HP, speed HP defense, accuracy on slot six if you absolutely need it, which it looks like I should probably have that. But um, anyway, so here are her runes. Again, nothing special. I'm just prioritizing speed overall. 
So you can see one upgrade into speed or no upgrades into speed. Uh, those are those are pretty much my priorities. Just making sure I do have the main slots uh, as speed or HP percent. And of course, I need to get that accuracy up. Once I get my accuracy up to 45% on Vero, Bella, and Megan, I expect my uh, my failure rate to go way down. And, and I should probably be about 80 plus to 90% success rate and until I just start getting overall stats better. And then my, my overall speed of my run will go down too. So it should go down to um, three minutes, I would say is probably uh, pretty good for this team, especially without Verta Hill. Uh, Bernard, so this is my Verd replacement. Uh, he basically, again, 20,000 HP is enough for him, uh, and then as fast as possible. The faster you have him, the more turns your team gets, and the more likely you're to stay alive, because that'll be the more Veramos cleanses, that'll be, you'll have Bella's heal up more often, you'll have the strip, you'll have more attacks, I mean, this just builds on. So turn advantage is everything, and that's why Vertihil is so good, but if you don't have Verd, Bernard can do the work as well. So here are his runes. This one, I, I can't believe I rolled it. I actually wish this rune was on my, my main account because it's a, that's a nice rune. Uh, anyway, so that's the one rune that's kind of crazy on this account. But, you know, if this was even a 15 speed and then I just had this rune maxed, um, I, I feel that these stats are relatively attainable. They all have one to two rolls into speed. Uh, nothing overly crazy about his runes. But, yeah, and again, his accuracy is only 32%, but I don't really expect him to land his debuffs onto the dragon, uh, just onto the, the waves prior. So it would help if his accuracy is up. I'm not overly worried about it. Again, uh, yeah, so 20,000 HP. He's got a nice base defense too, so you could do a defense percent rune on him. Uh, but, yeah. He's, he's at 136 speed. I want him faster. I want him, to, or 236 speed. I want him to be 250. I'll get most of the way there with this, uh, this rune here being maxed out. And then lastly, the water damage dealer. 15,000 HP is what you should go for. I have about 14,000 here. And then with the Veramos lead, it'll be over 15,000 HP. Uh, Critical rate, you want it as close to 85% as possible because on the dragon, uh, he'll be uh, uh, hitting with critical hits almost the whole time. My crit damage is, is low. My attack is actually pretty good. Speed is low. So speed is kind of a luxury on this guy. Uh, you're mainly depending on either Vertohal or Bernard to give him turns uh, and to do the damage. But the big thing here is you want this damage dealer to be able to, to help clear the waves relatively easily. So, uh, whenever he takes a turn, you either want him to do on a defense broken crystal, you want him to either kill it in one shot or, or make it so it's pretty close for your other units to kill, uh, the crystals. So, but anyway, his runes, uh, I think aside from this one, so this one here is pretty nice. Uh, beyond that, I think all of these are the reward from beating Chiruka on, I forget, normal or hard or something. So I just took the blade set and I, I stuck the entire thing onto him. And it, it's worked out pretty well. Uh, so again, 15,000 HP, uh, as much, you know, 85% crit rate, uh, as much attack and crit damage as possible, and speed is a luxury. You don't want him to be a total slug. So you don't want them to have plus zero speed, but something like plus 20, plus 30 is nice. And again, you are depending on Vertihal or Bernard in this case to, uh, to give him turns. So overall, I hope that this, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, it's just letting you know, you don't need Vertihal to beat Dragons B10. You don't need Brian to have a tower team. Uh, you can go directly to face. Uh, Megan technically isn't farmable, but you should be able to attain her. Uh, Sigmaris is farmable. Uh, I would say put him over Gildong. Again, I just didn't feel like fusing him, and I can make it work. If you have Theo Mars, uh, Theo is probably tougher to use than both Gildong and uh, Sig, but he'll, he'll work. He's an extra defense break. He'll give you some more dots on the boss. He just doesn't have an AoE. Not the biggest of deal. Um, 
but but he should work too. So uh, anyway, so anybody out there who's struggling with their first Dragons B10 team, it is possible without Vertahill. And uh, here's a relatively farmable, easily obtainable way to do it. And on top of that, these are all, again, like I said earlier, this is my Giants B10 team. I haven't six-starred anything outside of my main core dungeon monsters yet. Uh, and so my philosophy is, once you have your Giants team consistent, once you have your Dragons team consistent, maybe at that point I'll six-star one or two monsters for Guild Wars, and then I'll start working towards uh, Necro. So six-starring things like Colleen and uh, some other monsters. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you, if you enjoyed it, uh, please put in the comments below because I don't know how many people really find these useful within my audience. Um, and I'll come out with videos eventually. It might be a few months, but eventually I'll get around to a Necro video on this account and things like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.